Hi guys, Tanya from 4 Girls Jewelry. If you have in your stash beads like this, I want to show you very simple stone link that you can make with them. I create a couple of things here. Here is a choker. They all the same. The same length. And you can use them um, for bracelets. It's a tiny bracelet can be worn this way or that way. Also, I had a large one and I made necklace with a bone at the end and seven stones and finish with handmade chain. Here is one more necklace. So if you would like to learn how to make that, stay with me, pick up your wires and let's wire wrap. I also like this bead as the earrings. I left it um, to the open here. I put the bead so it will be flexible. Can't go anywhere because it will not allow to go. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so um, any wire you would like to use, but I would recommend you something that will be, you have to measure first the drill hole. Mine is put it thin, so I use thinner wire. If I could, I would use thicker if the beads would be built better, you know. But for the bracelets, 18 gauge probably would do. Straighten your wire. And I will work with these beads. And you decide what kind of, um, uh, let me see the bracelet I show. You decide how much you want it on top here yourself. Sometimes I never measure, so you can see mine is very irregular. This one is larger, here is the smaller, but I like that they all different. But if you like to have them all the same, you can measure and create the same exact uh, each time. So I approximately leave a wire, something like that. So one wire go up, the other will go down um, to create so it can sit better. I will go, because it has the curve here, so I will go on a curve and make it something like that. So it has the, on the middle sort of the bead going this way. Then we have other side. And I like to use um, my bail maker pliers, that the smaller one. And I just go around like that. So we have now two wires in front. And I, what I do, I just go to the end here and just wire wrap. And that's what the link look like. And we'll cut. Nicely tuck your wire. After you done, I will hold it and squish, squish so you can see this little thing is squished to the bead. You can see, you see, yeah. So that way, it's will not go move. 
you can also squish a little bit here and that's what your uh, little link look like then what I do is just point on one side you decide how long your tail is supposed to be you can measure and each time it could be same or different like I do and you make your nice perfect loop so that's that's the link and what I do I hammer So then this part will be stiff. That way your jewelry will be stable when you attach uh, all the links together. So let me make another link. Take another bead. Do the same. Go through the little hole. Squish that way. Put it in the middle of the bead then go down here is the pliers and you go up yes and then for the joint just make a couple wraps out file um, remember to hug your bead gently so it will be hugging the bead nicely oh. sorry for my wire making noise and uh, time to hammer down. so when I attach just open make sure they are lined up the same way And there you go, you have two links. And you keep building. You can make amazing um, necklace. It, I made choker because I feel like sitting on the neck this way will be nice. But it could be also normal necklace. Or a part, if you have very tiny beads like this, you can actually make amazing chain link for your necklaces. Um, one necklace that I did with a with the tinier beads. Let me see, go back to this one. So that was the tail that go down with a bone. But I also use a one on one side. And this is the clasp. So this necklace is made like that. I just use different colors here, here but one bead so it will be matching. I love earrings. These I like the most. Looks very cute. And it could be a nice set. Plus you can make bracelet, matching bracelet. It doesn't have to be all of them. You can put like two and then the rest could be different links for the bracelet. Or it can be whole thing like that. I hope you guys like it. It's a, it's just a very quick tutorial, easy, simple, and I think it's beautiful. I love it. Thank you. I will wait for your comments below, and I will see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching.